So I've been looking for a lightweight, compact, budget travel tripod that is over 60 inches tall because I'm a taller guy. And I think I found the perfect one from KNF Concept. And I'm gonna be doing a quick review in this video. Hey, what's up, Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tips and strategy videos as well as gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, we'll link out show notes in the description below, any other videos, resources, as well as the products we talk about. So check those out at any time. Let's jump into the review. So having a great tripod is super important and I've been on the hunt for a great budget travel option and I think I found the perfect one. Now this is the KNF Concept KFTM2324 and let's check out the specs. Now the entire weight of the tripod comes in at 2.51 pounds or 1.1 kilograms. So it's super light, yet it doesn't compromise on its ability to hold up gear and be really st sturdy. Now when it's folded up, it is only 18.1 inches long. So I typically will throw this in my, my clothing bag. I usually bring my gear onto most planes in a think tank uh, bag. I check that in the overhead because I want to keep all the expensive stuff you know, with me at all times. But then I'll put this bag in any kind of other suitcase and at 18 inches, it pretty much pretty much fits in any suitcase. And then the capacity on here is 22 pounds or 10 kilograms. So that's way more than we would typically use because we're shooting DSLRs, mirrorless bodies, things like that. But if you wanted to do up to 22 pounds, it can hold that. Now, as far as the build quality goes, it's all aluminum and magnesium alloy. So, you know, we've used other budget tripods that have a lot of plastic pieces. Um, there really isn't much plastic, if anything, maybe the clamps here are plastic, but still very sturdy and well built. But all of the build quality is pretty exceptional, especially considering the price of this tripod. Now that's just an overview of the basics of this tripod, but it really it's the little details that make all the difference when you shoot a lot. So let's talk about some of my favorite features. The first is this hook right here. Now the reason this is great is because this is such a light tripod, you can hang your gear bag or you know a sandbag, anything else, if you you really want to make sure that your camera is safe, you've got that hook there. Not all tripods include that, so it's a nice attention to detail. Additionally, you've got this spongy grip on one hand, which is also nice. Now, some tripods uh, that are kind of built like this allow you to turn it into a monopod. This one does not. However, if you kind of just go into like mono mode, it still can function very much as a monopod. And at just two and a half pounds, you definitely can move around and do some running gun shooting. But I like this spongy grip for always grabbing that one handle. Just a nice attention to detail. Additionally, you've got these rubber grip tips on the end here. I like these for a couple reasons. One, these are good um, if you're off-road, gravel, dirt, things like that, but they're also great for like concrete tile shooting at events. We've used this now at multiple different events and in, for multiple different projects. And they also just kind of stay on there. I've lost the tips of tripods. Maybe you have, let me know in the comments if you've ever had tripod issues. I've seen lots of pieces like this fall off of tripods. So the build quality is good here. Got a little bit of detail for grip and because it's rubber, rubber these pretty much work on any surface. Now the head on here is not meant for like smooth panning video or anything like that. You could ultimately swap this head out and put a video head on there if you wanted. But what is nice is it does have really buttery smooth movement, at least from pan left to right, which is kind of nice. If you just wanted to get like a nice shot, um, you know, left to right of any kind, you could do a little bit of video work just with that head there. But typically we're using this for static lockdown shots, whether we're shooting at like CES, you know, events and things like that. And we want a really light tripod that we can bring on the go with us. And so the head is nice. And then you also have uh, the ability to, um, you know, loosen it up, get whatever angle you want with the uh, ball head there, tighten that down. It's also nice that they've included the leveler right there. So you've got that um, ball leveler. And then the plate, you know, is great. Just pops on and off, attach that to your camera. Little rubber detail on there as well. Very thoughtful, easy to put on your camera, take on and off. And so the whole uh, tripod mounting head all well built, good tactile features. Um, it's really great. Additionally, they've made it really easy to get an inverted or bird's eye shot. All you have to do is unscrew this bottom piece um, with the bag hook on there and you can take this out and invert it really easy. And what's nice about that is not only could you do uh, lower shots like this, 
but with the ball head, you could also get your camera to do nice inverted shots. So if you can imagine, uh, whether on a floor or potentially even on a desk, now you can get that perfect, you know, top down view. So a nice feature and uh, thoughtfulness. And you can see how quick this all uh, works together. Just really like plug and play and you're set up and ready to shoot. And then one of the last things that I intentionally look for when looking for like the perfect tripod are these um, clips here. Now you've probably seen a lot of tripods that are similar to this that are more that screw mount. And for me, I just don't think that's as fast. What I like about these is you can just, you know, clip them all and just, you know, contract the whole leg and boom, you're ready to go. Very fast to set up and tear down as opposed to, rent, 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 didn't, you know, tighten it down again. And so this is my preferred tripod uh, leg locking system. And so I like that they included it on this one. All right, let's talk price. Now at the time of shooting this video, this tripod comes in at right around $79 here in the US. Now I actually bought it around the holidays this past year on a, um, lightning deal on Amazon and it was closer to $60. And what's cool is actually those lightning deals show up from time to time, even if it's not the holidays, like just mid year. So maybe if you follow KNF on social, uh, you might get an announcement of that. But even at $80, I think this is the best. Like that is a killer deal. Build quality is pretty incredible. We've already put a lot of wear and tear on it. I should also mention um, it comes with the bag, which is nice, um, not just for throwing it in for the tripod, but we also will throw sometimes other stuff in this bag and use this bag, you know, in luggage. And so we've shot in San Diego with it. We've shot here in Vegas with it. A lot of different scenarios. And you could tell that it's a great, well-built tripod that'll last. So, you know, it's a little more expensive than really budget tripods, but for the build quality, the construction, I think it's a great value. And I'd actually love to hear your thoughts. Do you know of any budget tripod or a similar price tripod that beats the specs? Let me know in the comment section below. So as far as my final thoughts go, this is definitely my favorite tripod right now. I think for the value, the build quality, what you get, definitely works for us um, for shooting a lot of static shots, especially at events. It's what we're gonna be using at NAB this year. And I also think that the value as far as in the marketplace is really cool, also for like the height. You know, another popular tripod is like the Manfrotto B Free tripod. It costs over twice as much as this, and it's also seven inches shorter. I think it comes in right around 55 inches, which might work for most people, but having a 62 inch tripod for someone taller like me, I'm 6'1", is um, really, really awesome. That also can fold down to 18 inches and go with you anywhere. And then as far as for a little bit of video work, you know, the panning on top is nice. And if you wanted to bring like a video head with you um, for some more advanced shooting, you could also combine that with this, but keep those separate in your bag as well and still travel. And again, it's ultra light at two and a half pounds, um, which makes it not heavy for heavier cameras, but the fact they've included that bag hook allows you to anchor this down with as much weight as needed to turn it into really a very versatile tool for whatever kind of content you wanna create, not just video, but also photos. Question of the day, what tripod are you currently using? Do you like it? And what are the features that you look for when picking out tripods? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you wanna see other videos in our budget video gear and camera gear series, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.